today we're going to talk about Hustler Undergrad, what it is and what it'll do for your bank account. Making sure that we're coming in. Essentially, I have gotten a lot of questions about what is Hustler Undergrad, many emails, so I'm going to take the time to discuss it, the benefits, and the process. Now, if you're not interested, you can leave now. There ain't no point in you sticking around because you don't want to make any money. You don't want to build any generational wealth and you don't want to get rich later. I understand you want to get rich now. Good luck with that. All right. So cool, cool, cool. What we're going to do is get into the beginning stages of what we're going to do. So let me pop out of here real quick and get into my whiteboard. All right, make sure we still have volume. We do. Let's get rid of this bad boy and let's get into the black. And make sure that this is coming up on the screen correctly. Uh, this is Hustler undergrad only, nothing else. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is build you a foundation. Now, why is a foundation important? Well, if you get into a quick money hustle and you don't have a foundation, that hustle will evaporate. It will stop working. It will stop giving you dividends. So we need to get into the foundation. Now, I got a lot of people who think Hustler Undergrad is another domain. It is not. It is that Hustler's Kung Fu life skills. So we're going to build you a financial foundation. So with this, we're going to create you a holding company. Then we're going to create you an operating company. Then we're going to create you a four figure hustle. AKA you are keeping your job. This is one of the things that kills people. They'll get a good hustle going and then they'll quit their job and they're like, I'm out of here. But what happens is now they don't have bullets. They don't have the dollar bill is a bullet. Every dollar you have in your wallet, every dollar you have on your credit card, every dollar you have in the bank account, those are bullets in this economic war. So by quitting your job, you actually subtract the bullets that you could have. So this is the foundation, build you a financial, uh, financial foundation, create your holding company so it can age, operating company, do business, and D, we're going to to create tax strategies. Some people were blown away at what we talked about in the last three sessions. Now, on the Art of Holding webinars, we've had three, and the audio quality is not what I want because I'm recording them. And I got to figure out a way to have a congruent audio across the platforms because I was using my iPad. And the audio is usable, but it's not what I want. So we're going to be playing around with that. So we're going to create you tax strategies. Now, why are we going to create you tax strategies? Well, we're building you a financial foundation. So one of the things that you have to do is understand taxes in your income, AKA your bullets. So the holding company, this is going to be where all the money flows up. The operating company, you're going to do business. You're going to test, you're going to run, um, hustles, you're going to do all this stuff. Now C, four figure hustle. 
All right, this is one of the mandates of disruptive mail. What we're going to do is everyone should have a job and everyone should have a side hustle, a business with a minimum of a four figure per month income. Now that's not necessarily your profit, but you should be shooting for four figures with your side hustle. And then we'll create tax strategies. Then, oh, we are going to learn how to sell. This is very important. All right. Then this is the order of it. You have to create the holding company because you want this bad boy to age. Then the operating company to run this from, and then we're going to create tax strategies because the tax strategies that have been outlined will easily cover the cost of the course. And then we're going to learn how to sell. I realize you guys need some money. So we're going to get you some more money out of what you make. Now, if you have a low wage job where you're not really paying a lot in federal taxes, this ain't going to help you. You making 30 to 40 K, this will help you tremendously. If you're making 70 K, this will help you like you wouldn't believe. And then this is really what we're going to focus on because the way that I'm building out Hustler Undergrad, I am building it to be durable. I am building it like, let me kind of give you a, a little snapshot into my life. And this should make, this should, um, Okay, because I should have hooked up the um, other camera, but we're going to see if this will roll. All right, so is it going to focus? Ah, okay, you can see that. Now, that is a very expensive leather sofa and chair that I bought almost eight years ago. Now, I'm going to make sure y'all get a good look at this. Okay. Now, I'm going to explain this. Stick with me. Stick with me. So, I'm going to... All right. Now, this is the reason. I spend a lot of money. I'll even tell you how much money I spent on it. It was selling just a sofa for five grand and the chair was like 2,500. Well, Macy's had a sale, a 50% off sale and a clearance, which means that once this puppy was gone, it was gone. So I took some of my YouTube money and I bought it. 2010-ish, I believe. So yeah, that's eight years. Now, let me tell you about this sofa, which looks really good. A lot of the Craigslist protocols took place on that sofa. That sofa has been used. It has been slept on. It has been rigorously used. It's very firm. It's still firm. Not as firm as it was the day I got it, but it's still very firm. It still looks good. Now, what does that have to do with Hustle Undergrad? Well, I got that sofa and chair. I got a nice table. I got a nice bedroom set. Essentially, I didn't have to go out and rebuy this stuff because I didn't buy it for here and now. I don't buy trendy stuff. I buy classic pieces that hold up and last. So now I'm in a new place. It's four bedrooms, five bathrooms. Essentially, I only have to because the additional bedrooms are going to be YouTube studios. And then I had all of this stuff already. So I didn't have to go out and repurchase. I didn't have to go out and reinvest because I invested properly, foundationally, the first time. Many of us are in a microwave society. We're in instant results. It's trendy. It's flashy. Let's go ahead and grab it. I don't operate like that. This is the same way that I'm building Hustle Undergrad.
foundationally giving you solid principles that will last forever versus uh, going to getting ahead and doing um, Facebook ads, which if you remember, everybody got on that. Then everyone got on the Shopify thing. Then people were doing Kindle. Then people were doing Amazon FBA. Then people were doing uh, T-shirts. And I have not deviated from any of the things I'm doing. Sell, direct response, learn how to sell, learn how to market. Same things, different day, but year after year, I've been talking about this stuff because it works for me. Utilizing those principles allowed me to get this house. So foundationally, we're going to give you a solid foundation. We're going to set you up so you will be able to build upon your foundation and your foundation must it needs to be rock solid. A lot of this stuff, I don't understand why it's not taught in colleges, but it should be because we're going to get into some other stuff. So let me go here. All right, so it seems to be a little smoother today, just a little smoother. All right, so we're back here. All right, then we're going to get into, well, I'll just, y'all got that. You can watch the video again. I suggest you watch this video three or four times to get everything. All right, so we're going to do some stuff that your parents should have did for you. And I will say this, maybe your parents didn't know because no one ever did it for them. So don't blame them. But we're going to do on the personal side and the business side, these checking accounts. And they're very important. So you're going to have a, an operating account. We'll just go operating B savings C an investment D merchant and E an expense so we're going to do this on the same thing on the business side going to do operating savings invest merchant and disbursement so this is where we're going to set up because you need to make sure that you're running your personal life very well because once again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to make money, create money. And if you are not handling the money that you already have coming in, you're gonna mess up the new money. By doing these, you know, and we're gonna talk about it a lot and I'm gonna explain why you need to do this. Personal business. Because this is gonna be part of your financial foundation. Because what you will learn here is how to handle money. And this is a very important skill set to have in the development of wealth. You must do this. You got to have this if you want to be wealthy. So this is some other stuff. And this is foundational stuff. And I know there are many people will feel like eh, it's so simple and you know what it is simple in concept but execution is hard we all know how to lose weight eat less than we need eat better food choices uh, roughly and I'm included in this roughly 58 60 percent of Americans are overweight we know exactly what we need to do but the execution gets a little tricky like um, I'm on this, you know, because I do flexible dining. Um, I'll eat whatever I want for one or two days. Then I pretty much on a low carb, high protein diet. And the thing that happens with that is 
I can eat three or four times a day and I get screaming hungry and I just have to like suck it up and don't eat anything because I am starving. But this is one of the things and you know, it's taken me two and a half years to lose 50 pounds and I got like 20 more to go. Process takes time. You need to have goals. You need to have a process. You need to have a firm foundation because one of the things I learned in about losing weight in which is applicable to business is what you did six weeks ago is what's going to produce results today. So you got to start to be forward thinking and start thinking like, I don't have no money now. I don't have big booty Betty. I don't have my Lambo. Now you have to start thinking, all right, so today I'm going to make some good decisions. I'm going to do some good things with my money in three months to a year from now, I'll see benefits. That's the thinking that you must employ. That's why I said this at the beginning. Like if you're looking for something quick and fast, um, I don't have it for you, but if you start this now, you set up yourself this time next year, you could have five to 10 grand in a checking account that doesn't need to go somewhere because you're managing your money cor correctly. I got an email from someone and it was a long email and it was a good one. And he's like, you know, I've been following you. You know, I just signed up for Hustler undergrad. I did the five accounts. I've been doing it for eight months. I got $6,000 in my account and I've not made any more money. I can only imagine what's going to happen once I start making some more money because regardless of who you are, regardless of how you grow up, if you do not manage your money, your money will manage you. And I'm telling you, your money's going to treat you like a, a $3 hooker. It's going to pimp you out. It's going to have you doing crazy stuff. Now, this is the foundational stuff we're going to do. And then once you get it, um, where everyone's going to have a holding company, everyone's going to have an operating company, everyone's going to pick a hustle. And let's say you don't know what kind of hustle you want. Well, we're going to do something that's called experimentation. Experimentation is going to cost you time and money because one of the things that's holding so many people back is I got to have it right. Itis. It's got to be the right business. It's got to be the right day. It's got to be the right temperature. And until all those things are lined up, you, you're just going to keep sitting on the sidelines. Let me hip you to something and I'm about to get social. Uh, there's this guy, BG S Igmore. You should find him pretty quickly. He put up a video recently talking about the white underclass. Now I have been saying for years that poor white people, poor Hispanic people and poor black people are treated the same. And I've had the whole test like, no, Glendon, no, Glendon, you a cool man. You ain't down for the people, man. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Check out his video. He says the same thing that I've been saying for years and he's got research and stats to back it up. So if you're like sitting back going like, you know, the man ain't gonna let me do anything. Well, you can continue to be the submissive, little girl of the man that's in your mind because see the man, the so-called man, the so-called white man is catching L's all day long. So he ain't got time to hold you down. Check it out. Check it out. So what's going to happen and what's coming. We're going to live in a society with economic boundaries. One of the things they're doing, and I'll tell you why I moved in this neighborhood. There, it's, it's got an economic boundary. And what I mean by that is there are no apartment complexes around here. There are no townhouses around here. There's nothing but houses on an acre up to 10 acres. That's all that's around here. Now, what's going to happen is that the economic boundary that this neighborhood presents is going to keep a lot of people out. You're going to have you're going to have so many neighborhoods with these economic boundaries that, you know, it's going to be like, man, that's I, it's insanely expensive. It'll make no sense. They don't want to be around people who are not like them. And th this is something funny, too, because been in here about three days. Well, really, last night was the first night slept here. I've already met three of my neighbors. They like saw the moving truck. They came. Hey, how you doing? All this, you know, the so-called money uh one of my neighbors she owed money you just she walk her dog with diamonds and stuff right 
And I'm not saying this to brag and boast because I know some of you are so weak minded that if anyone even talks about doing better than you, you start hating because you don't feel that you can get it. You don't feel that this is going to happen. So you start hating. I have good news. Change your mindset. You may change your life. You may not. You may go from being a hater to becoming a relater because I used to be like you. I used to hate on people because I didn't feel that I can do it. So change your mindset. Now, what's going to happen because of, quote, the Trump years, uh, Trump's not going to finish out his term. It's not. But the damage that he's done will take a generation or two to undo. Because these judges, these judges are there for life. It's going to take a generation or two to undo a lot of this stuff. So he's already did his job. And if you are poor, if you're not financially literate, your life is going to be very hard. This next recession is going to be different because it's going to be segmented. You're going to have some people who are going to be doing amazingly well. You're going to have companies doing amazingly well. And then you're going to have a lot of people on the outside looking in. I did a property analysis on the south side. I was shocked. Because I haven't looked over there because, you know, where I live, a cheap house is three ninety nine and they usually knock it down. There's tons of houses for fifty thousand, sixty thousand, one fifty. Perfect rental property. Perfect. Just all over the map. Economic boundary. Economic boundaries. They're not put, you know, there will be some wall. Well, around here, there, there's gated communities. There's gated houses. There's a gate and a big brick wall around. Them. But. Who you associate with and who you interact with and more importantly, who your children interact with is going to set their future. Because if all you're doing is hanging around Broke Dick Danny and people like that, you have pretty much have given your children an inheritance of mediocrity. I don't say that to be harsh. I'm not even trying to talk down to you. I'm just trying to give you the truth that no one else will tell you. Typically, when you're born in a social class, whatever social class you're born in, you stay in. It's very hard to escape. Now, during World War II, after World War II, there was a ton of people that went from lower class to middle class, to upper middle class to rich because of the GI Bill, the uh, veterans loan. A lot of those two things shaped up this country. Made a huge difference in this country. So you had many folks who became this strong middle class. Now the middle class is being hollowed out because you're either going to be rich or you're going to be poor. There ain't going to be nothing in the middle. And if you're in the middle, you're going to be in trouble because, you know, I told this story before and like the reason when this cop stopped me and my license was suspended and I didn't get arrested, I didn't get harassed, I didn't get spoken to disrespectfully because I lived in this neighborhood. See, it protects you in so many different ways. I know someone's going to come up there. What about Louis Gates? You ever notice when someone has to come up, they have to go way back. And once again, I'll put it out there. Name one black athlete, famous black person who's been shot by the cops. Who's rich? Name one. There ain't been any. And in the future, you're going to have more and more black people cross over to upper middle class or rich. And they're going to take their children with them. And they're going to start developing certain habits. Now, if you want to be part of that, and let, let's also be really clear. More than likely, your hard work is not going to benefit you as well as it's going to benefit your kids. You know, once you're past the two or three year mark, you'll be living well. But you set the stage for your children to become millionaires and billionaires because you've moved them into a better class. And once again, this isn't about people someone has a worth of as a human of more than another human but when you move into another class you move, you meet people with access and i'll give you some um some um examples previous owners of this house left a lot of stuff <laughs> right and i was talking to him and i was like you want me to make that magically disappear because people in this class don't mess with craigslist they don't know nothing about it and she had this huge, I don't, I, I probably, do I have a picture of it? I know where it is though. I think I could pull it up. I'm going to show you what I ended up giving away, which 
would have been nope 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 aha okay so now if I was still in the business I would have had 300 to 400 bucks on that coffee table it's three feet wide and it's three feet at the shortest point and it's um, five feet long and it's real heavy I got rid of that and some other stuff around here they left they left a gym they left an elliptical um, machine a smith rack some dumbbells about 400 pounds worth of weight now what I'm saying is when you get people who are in this class they have so much access they don't really care about stuff like that because you know I was just like I wanted it gone because I have some other uses for that space but what happens is you know because now she's like we're, she's like my BFF you know she's like oh god you know anything any help you need anything you need to know about you know after the walkthrough and all this other stuff part of moving into a different class and this is going to be very painful is you're going to have to leave people who are not appreciative of your growth and success behind not saying you'll never have to talk to them again you can love them from afar because i'm telling you from experience that once you start doing way better not like a level you know people could deal with one level level and a half but when you make a 10 level jump you will find out who your friends are. You will find out really quickly. So this is what Hustler undergrad is. And why is it so expensive? Because today it's 199 times 25. So I think that's like five grand. What you will learn just from the tax strategies, it's not gonna save you money just next tax season tax season after 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 so just on the tax strategy stuff next 10 years you could save 50 60k on your taxes yeah but see there are many people who are looking at the now it's like I need money now I need success now I'm, I can I, I have nothing for you but the free videos because there have been many people who've come to this channel watch the free videos and executed and made money Oh, that's right. A lot of people don't want to do that stuff. It's funny. All right. So let me get into some questions. This is working out really nice today. All right. So let me see what y'all got going on. And okay. This froze. <laughs> also, for anyone that's in Hustlers Undergrad, you should use Glendon at H undergrad to contact me about a course. I sent out an email with all the links to everything. Uh, a lot of people are now hooked up and you got to open up your emails and you got, cause a lot of people have no up the email. So whenever someone contacts me, I just copy and paste that link and send it to them with all the information they need. So let's see what's going on. What's up AKW beats Jabras. <laughs> what's up Richard that's funny talk on what's going on Mo Grizzly what's good the baby and I are in attendance appreciate you bringing folks I like I like that what's up Kenny Victor what's going on Jabras and Roland Huster grad now only had two webinars that's more worth the price I'm t tell them again man tell them again Latasha no it doesn't take two years to sub a holding company when I say two to three years like you could, let's just go ahead and say, if you have good credit, you can get business credit now. You can set up your holding company, you can set up your operating company. It's gonna take you two to three years to start making the kind of money you want. Like you could start and probably make three or 400 bucks instantly, you know, whatever your hustle is. Some people might even make a thousand to 1500, but for your hustle to matriculate into a business to become sustainable, what you wanna do is build something that you can build on year after year. And this is why I don't subscribe to a lot of this trendy stuff, because let's say if you build your, 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 your um, business on the Facebook ads, right? The minute that Facebook changes the, their program, you got to scramble. You're not really building a solid business unless you're using Facebook ads 
taking those emails, creating the customer list and creating the email campaign and selling direct to those people, which a lot of people do. And Richard, we're going to talk about that Sunday. The next, because, you know, we had a lot of people who were not signed in, couldn't get signed in, didn't have access. So we're not having any more webinars until this Sunday, I think at 4 p.m. Don't quote me on that. So everybody can catch up. And there are one, two, three webinars that are already recorded and uploaded. No, Mo, it's, 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 that's not the problem. Essentially... When I was doing the live webinar, I was using GoToWebinar. I was using the iPad. I was using, it, it, I got to do a better job of it. Uh, it was um, a few days ago, Xavier. Deuce, deuce. What's up, Johnny? Thank you, Cashmatic. Michael Taylor, if we start an LLC in September, can we make deductions for the whole year just... Well, once again, if you've been in business, you can take those deductions. If you've been in business. The Hector Craigslist protocol, that's what you call it. It's leather, baby. Just wipe it off. It's good to go. Anthony Johnson, if you're going to start a real estate company, would you do a partnership or an LLC? I don't plan on selling. We want to make a family fortune business. Now I'm thinking of a trust. Well, once again, get started. And I, I'm not trying to avoid your question. Once you get started and you get into the process, things will reveal themselves for your particular situation. All right, thanks. <laughs> you cleaning your apartment? Daniel Moody, uh, you did not open up your email. Open up your email. It's Sunday. Johnny, one of my parents were sure copies, a lot of stuff they did not know. And this is one of the things that I can't say. It, it's just, you know, our parents, some of our parents were solid, good people. And there was just stuff they didn't know. And I, what's amazing with some of these people, they were unaware of what they didn't know. And they pushed their kids to do different things in the experiment. So a lot of parents, even though they didn't know, they were really good parents. What up, John Doe? <clears throat> Thank you, Camilla. Uh, that, yes, he is. He does research, and I don't think a lot of people really understand how deep he gets into it. Uh, the Millionaire Toolkit is the art of holding companies now. Uh, once again, um, check your email because essentially everybody that gets into Hustle Undergrad, I have a special email list for you guys. And... Uh, what I want you to do is go in your email, check your spam folder, and look for emails from glendon at hundergrad.com, and then save that in your address book, because I think a lot of these emails are going into spam folders, because it's, you know, it's coming from a business address. What's up, Ra? <laughs> Anthony. Thanks, Shadow. Shadow, the music artist. I lost all my old friends, but it's cool. They couldn't understand why I wanted to be a millionaire business owner so bad. Uh, many people are comfortable with who they are, where they are. Uh, everyone doesn't need a $100,000 a year job. Everyone doesn't need uh, to be a millionaire. But with that said, there's some of us who do and I'm cool with you living your life. I'm cool if you work in your job, but some reason they have a problem with me doing what I do. Ronaldo said I was black till I became rich. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know what, ESA? 
call it what it is, because once again, I have been watching this for years and years and years that people don't understand the power of class because mark my words, hopefully many of you had good parents because when you start getting in your forties and fifties, you're going to become your parent, whether they were good parents or bad parents, unless you assiduously work against it. <laughs> I know shadow. I know. I know, man. Uh, no, and someone asked me who my mentors were. I, I need to address that in the stream. Bill, Ga Bill Gates is not my mentor. Steve Jobs is not my mentor. I admire both of them. My mentors were Dennis Campbell, a pharmacist who owned Campbell Pharmacy. Uh, Mr. Youngblood. I don't think I ever knew his first name, Mr. and Mrs. Youngblood. And Mr. Simmons, who I never met, but every day I walked by his land development company and I saw the two helicopters and I was like, I want something like that. So those are my mentors and actually my mother. My mother's a different kind of mentor because from her I learned what not to do. So I would say collectively I probably had 30 or 40 members, uh, mentors who were from the neighborhood, Mr. Giles, Mr. Jones, Mr. Glover, uh, just men I saw going to work every day and taking care of their families. So I don't the thing is, you don't need a Bill Gates. Right now, there's probably someone in your neighborhood who's accessible, who will probably sit down and talk to you, who can mentor you. Because there are many folks who have created millionaires and billionaires, and they were never a millionaire. You know, Bill Gates' father wasn't a millionaire. He was a lawyer, but he wasn't a millionaire. Uh, Ray, thanks for the $2 super chat. Uh, Richard Mayfield, I have a sprint. We'll, we'll address that in when we get to the business credit section. Uh, that sprint number ain't going to work. I can tell you that right now. All right. Thank you, Harriet. John Doe, I strongly consider paying off my student debt for my 30th birthday present in January. I think that's an excellent move, my dude. Because this is another thing. Uh, if you read the news, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, one of the head of it, resigned in protest. All right, first of all, you can't BK out of student loans. I want you to think about that. So that's with you for life. And then the people who are trying to create bail policies, they're getting rid of. Once again, after Trump's gone, it's going to take five years for people to really see the impact that this presidency had on the average working man. Like people like me, business owners, oh man, it's, it's, it's like these are the best times ever. I mean, if you got an LLC and a holding company and stuff, these new laws, oh, they've set them up where it's so easy to game them because the language is ambiguous. This was done intentionally for those who are getting assets. Uh, and also a shout out to the millennials. Uh, I owe some of y'all an apology because I was doing some research because I was going to do a video about millennials. But once again, before I do a video, I need to know about millennials. So I did some research. There's some hungry millennials out there. There's a lot of them because you, you hear the thing of you see the millennials who are the minimalist and you see them in their YouTube channels blow up. But there's a lot of millennials out there buying property, getting houses. So uh, shout out to the millennials. Uh, Harriet, just depends on what is your purpose and intentions. Awesome, Fred. D. Hectors, I did a clean out from a house that sold for $3.1 million. I got some great stuff, including a vitro pack. I mean, seriously, you folks like, I'm done with it. They just leave it. Alan Watkins. Now, LLC's tax is an S Corp versus traditional S Corp entity. That's what I want to know. Um, actually, that an S Corp is taxed a certain way. That's, see, S Corp designation 
it's just for taxation. You can have an S corp that's a C corp. You can have an S corp that's an LLC and it's only kind of taxed one way. That's why you gotta be careful. Like my LLC is not an S corp, but I have members in my LLC. It's not a single member entity. More stuff we'll go into. Otto Leisure just started my reselling hustle. Thanks a lot. We'll soon get one of your courses. All right. <laughs> it's live, Harriet. D Hectrix for the win. Being around real wealthy people made me realize that their values and thinking is not the way most people believe they are. No, it's not. You know, it's funny. It's, it's a gr many groups of people who do this. There are, there are white people who talk about black folks, but they don't know any black folks. There are black people who talk about white people. They don't know any white people. And there are poor people who talk about rich people, but they don't know any rich people. And they don't know any one of them. And it's funny because most rich people are low key because they've been through it. They know what happens, you know, especially someone who's like the, the richest person in the family. It's always a problem. Uh, Hollywood prep. No, I'm not streaming in four key. Not yet. That's the next setup. I didn't, I wanted to get this out. I didn't want to, uh, experiment on that. Thank you, Richard Thomas. What's up G man. Well, Earl Nightingale, like I said, I had 30 mentors because the thing is Earl Nightingale gave me knowledge and I've been shouting out Earl Nightingale for like nine years. So Earl, Earl is all right. Anthony Johnson. Jabras, my niece is a town R. She's going to start a YouTube channel. I want to help her with that and make enough money for her to go college debt free. Yes, hustle undergrad. We'll help you. Because see, this is one of the things that rich people do that average people don't do. They save money on taxes. This is one that this is the biggest source of leakage, loss of wealth. There is. It's taxes. And this is why you see Google with the Dutch sandwich and all this other stuff. It's amazing. Fred Edwards, it's not easy to be the head of the pack. Look at the Wall Street Journal's bell curve at 26. I'm in the top 15 to 20% of all ages and races on, on black. I don't even register because the data is so low. It, it, it is sad because if you're on the top 1% of income and you're competing with other black people, it's 170K. That puts you in the top 1% of all black earners. If you're competing with everyone else, you need to be at 280. Uh, no, I haven't addressed that stuff on, but we'll talk about that. Essentially, you're talking about funding your corporation. This, this is what's going to be called in your QuickBooks, a capital account. This is the money that you put into the business. <laughs> no, this shirt isn't going on Amazon. I'm just playing around because, you know, I changed the name of the, of the channel. So I had to get gear to reflect it because all the hustle camps, I, I donated them. They're gone. And then I'm going to come up with some more gear for every man is a millionaire. I'm going to come up with some new gear for disruptive mail coming soon. I'm not messing with crypto. I think crypto is too early. I think there are great things that will happen with crypto, but right now it's too early and a lot of people are going to get hurt. All right, Anthony. Oh, I, I don't take these down. Whenever I do these live streams on YouTube, they stay up. Iraq. Oh, we're going to talk about that. Adding members does a lot of different things. All right, so let's see how long we are because this was just supposed to. I think, yeah, I think we're good. So for those of you who want to be part of Hustle Undergrad, you got into good. You, you got it to Friday. Price ain't changing, uh, but it will change Friday night and it's going to go up to 300 bucks and it'll probably sit there for a while. Essentially, what you're going to get is the tools and the skill sets before you pay them to create income to pay it. Because some people, it'll probably take you a month or two to be making money. Some people, it's going to take you six months because 
the more unseasoned that you are, the more that you have to learn, the bigger your learning curve. But ultimately, before you finish up your payments, your hustle, your side hustle should pay your tuition plus some. Because let's think about it. Let's just say you got to the, the minimum requirement of a thousand bucks a month. If you came in at 150, that's eight hundred and fifty dollars a month for you. New revenue. And we're going to be talking about all kinds of stuff, because one of the things that I want to do. And this is why I don't answer questions, because. There's a lot of people who are sending questions and I just send them links and stuff because one is not efficient. Uh, and this is something that you all should understand. If you're going to be a consultant or you're going to be um, some kind of teacher, you must value your time because it's the most valuable thing you have. And essentially, I cannot answer all of the I mean, if I, if I took the time to give someone a well thought out response, we're talking about 15, 20 minutes times 20 or 30 a day. It just ain't in the cards, but the links below and give me 24 hours to add you to the queue. Uh, the welcome email process has become much better because, you know, I'm going to hire someone to do this, but I have to do it to find out where all of the trouble spots are. Like, you know, logins. Once again, people talk about online courses. You never hear them talking about login issues. And this is why it's an issue. You'll have someone, they work in a job and then they can only log in or on the weekend. So here's the weekend. They're like, yeah, getting my hustle undergrad. They forgot their password. You understand how frustrating that is? You spending like all this money and you can't get in. So now as part of the welcome email, we teach you how to reset up your account so you don't have this issue. Because many people are unfamiliar with the platform that I use. So it's my job to educate them. And, you know, the last email, I think, solved a lot of problems. But once again, when you're dealing with a bunch of different people from literally around the world, there will be more challenges and this, we'll just work them out as we go. But the links below and whatever price you sign up at, I can't change it because someone's like, hey, could you jack up the price? No. Uh, once you sign up for a payment plan, the terms of the plan can't change midstream unless you default and then you re-sign up, you'll sign up at the higher price. Thomas Brown, if you already started a media company as an LLC, is it too late to make an operating company? Uh, once again, I'm getting to that in the art of holding. There is a structure and there's a sequence that you need to do. Uh, no, I don't invest in any of the market. I have a special situation, which I don't have to invest in the market. Uh, my long-term investments are going to be real estate. I finally came off of it and I made that and we'll be talking about that too. All right. So I'm getting ready to go. If you got any more questions about this stream below, you can leave a comment. And if I get enough comment of the same comments, then I'll just address that in another stream or send out an email. All right. So thanks for joining me. You guys have a good evening. Today is Wednesday. I'll probably be streaming again tomorrow. So with that, you guys have a good evening. I'll talk to you later. And I got to figure out how to turn this off. Comment, like, and subscribe.